Hello there. This is Music Man 0150, also known as Gary. And I'm back with another video. And as you can see, there are the two Maximatic television sets. And I have some great news for you. They are both working. What I ended up doing is those 1.6 amp fuses that I had. I first tried the 1.6 amp fuse in the TV that isn't working as well, which is this one. Because when I went to take out the fuse that was in here, yes, it was a good fuse, but I took it out to see what the rating was. For some odd reason, the glass cracked and I was even very very careful in taking it out and it's and it's still cracked so luckily I had the 1.6 amp fuses to replace it the original was indeed a 1.5 amp fuse not just a 0.5 so that really really made things easier because since I had the 1.6 amp fuses and it was only like one tenth up from the original I didn't think it would hurt anything and the PC board rating said 1.6 so that's equal to the fuse and I ran the uh, TV for about an hour or so and it was running fine and it was this one that I was running. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this one on. And also want you to know that I'm using now a 1000 milliamp power supply on it. I got a comment from RetroChad and he said that as long as the polarity and the voltage is the same, the current can be increased and by using that power supply I did notice a better performance on this TV because this is the one that was having the problem with with the video noise and it not going loud now that was really weird what just happened I turned up the volume and the picture blanked out a little bit but it was still it was still powering so there there may be something wrong with this set in general but it is working now let's go ahead and turn on the other one and I'm using the original supply on this one just to uh, play it safe and this is the one that I was having the most trouble with because that's the one that I blew the original fuse and then couldn't get it back together. But thank goodness I got it back together and it's working like it should. And another thing I wanted to show you on this one, let's see if I can do this. Let me switch hands so that way you can see me tune it. See all the channels are coming in good. And as you can see there's no hum bar like there was. There might be a little bit on there but it's working a lot better than, than it was. So probably the uh, increase of the fuse helped some. That other fuse may have been going out already. It was probably one of those slow blow fuses. See, this one's working good. That's Dylan. It's the Jonas Brothers. See, this one goes nice and loud. 
Spice Girl Melby. Oh, look at you go. Oh, New Ellen. And as you notice, I got them both tuned to the same channel, so you can see the comparison. Me get these a little closer together. And there you are. Two Maximatic battery operated, also AC powered televisions working well. And this is model number T 8088A. Kind of a unique model number, isn't it? Yep, 8088A. It's very easy to memorize once you know it. So, let's do one more close up of each one. This is the, this is what I call Maximatic number two, because this is the second one that I got. And here's Maximatic number one. And the reason I put it on the TV is so that you can see how it's performing. Because on the radio it doesn't draw as much power, but on the TV it does. So that's why I put it on TV mode. Because that's what I wanted to have. Oh, and by the way, today is uh, February 17th, 2009. But there's not going to be a digital transition taking place other than on one channel that I'm able to pick up, and it's from Canton. And I'm going to show that in another video. Uh, they delayed the transition till June 12th. So those of you that are still using only analog TVs over the air broadcast, you have an additional four months to get ready so that's that's it for the Maximatic TVs and I'm I'm glad that they're working and I'll be able to use both of them for the transition now coming up in June so until next time this is Music Man 0150 signing off and hope you have a great day and please keep watching for more videos and i want to send a special thanks to retro chad for his help in getting these tvs working properly